Good, Good morning, morning, Carol. I have a mission for you. We have an unexpected victim at poolside about to get a first degree burn. Go get him, Angels. Time to get to work, Angels. Oh my gosh, Carol's Angels, what are you doing here? We get a call the end, Deidre. What are you talking about? Well, there seems to be minor skin damage to your face, neck, and chest. Your skin looks a little dry and red, but I don't see any blisters, so I think it's a good sign. Are you okay? Ouch! Yes? Well, then these are all characteristics of a first degree burn. What's a first degree burn? It's a partial thickness of the superficial, affecting the superficial layer of the epidermis. What do I do about it? Well, what you want to do is apply cool, wet compresses with a fresh water. And then you also want to cover your burn and protect it. Will butter or ointment help me? No, that's the last thing you want to do. You can do over-the-counter pain medication for life. Well, how do I prevent this from happening again? Well, you definitely don't want to use baby oil. I would suggest using a sunblock or wearing a hat and minimize your sun exposure. Okay, thank you. You got right. it. I love those Carol's Angels. They have the most awesome hair. I wonder if I can do it. I mean, it's just curly and pretty. I just wish I looked exactly like them. That'd just make my life so much easier. God, they're so pretty. It's... Ow! Wow, that was a close one. What type of burn do you think that was? Well, it definitely wasn't a thermal burn because there wasn't any hot objects involved. Or a mechanical burn because there was no friction or vibration on it. And it wasn't a chemical burn because she didn't have any contact with acid or alkalines. And there wasn't any electricity involved, so it definitely wasn't an electrical burn. I know! It must be a radiation burn because she had contact from UV rays of the sun. Work, Angel. Thank, Thank you, Carol. Carol. So what's the problem? I burned my face with my curling iron. Let's take a closer look at this. Well, it doesn't look bad as the first one, so it must be like a second degree burn. What's the difference between my first burn and my second one? Well, a second degree burn is a deep partial thickness of two layers of your skin, which is the epidermis and the dermis. Also, it's looking a little moist wet and pink, and uh, seems to be some blisters present too. It looks like a little edema too, so... Is it painful? Yes, very painful. Whoa, whoa, whoa. okay, <laughs> now let's take care of this. We're gonna have to immerse that burn in some fresh cool water for about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay. Okay, what now? Well, now we're gonna dry it off, and we're also going to cover it up, just to protect it. I want to make sure that you definitely do not break any blisters and make sure you don't apply any ointments or butter. Okay, now come over here and lay down and we're going to elevate your feet. Why are we doing this? It's to prevent shock. Now you want to call your doctor just so they can take a further look at it. Okay, our job is done here. Wait! Are there any other burns that are worse than the ones that I got today? That is a great question. They're actually are third degree burns, which are a full thickness of the epidermis, the dermis, and the tissue below that. These types of burns can be bright red or they could look dark and leathery. They also have a charred look that could be white, waxy, tan, or even brown. Also, charred veins are, may be visible and are, are insensitive to touch because of the nerve endings are destroyed. Well, how do you treat that burn then? Well, you cover it with a clean cloth. And you definitely don't want um, any lint to come off that cloth because then it'll get stuck on it. And then you definitely do not want to apply any ointment or butter, like we've mentioned several times several before. Times. <laughs> and then you want to take steps to prevent shock, like we did here. Also, if you burn your arms or your legs, you want to make sure you elevate those. Do I have to call my doctor immediately? You definitely want to make sure. You definitely want to make sure that you contact your doctor immediately for further treatment. 
Okay, thanks, Angels. No problem. You got it. Good job, Angels. Mission accomplished. Good job. Good job.